We finish where modernism began, at the foot of the Eiffel Tower, and perhaps the etiquette now demands that I should try and prognosticate about what is coming next. Well, I won't, because I don't know. History teaches us one certain thing, that critics, when they fish out the crystal ball and start trying to guess what the future will be, are almost invariably wrong. I don't think there's ever been such a rush towards insignificance in the name of the historical future as we've seen in the last 15 years. The famous radicalism of 60s and 70s art turns out to have been a kind of dumb show, a charade of toughness, a way of avoiding feeling. And I don't think we are ever again obliged to look at a plywood box or a row of bricks on the floor or a videotape of some twit from the University of Central Paranoia sticking pins in himself and think, this is the real thing. This is the necessary art of our time. This needs respect because it isn't and it doesn't and nobody cares. The fact is that anyone except a child can make such things because children have the kind of direct, sensuous, and complex relationship with the world around them that modernism in its declining years was trying to deny. That relationship is the lost paradise that art wants to give back to us, not as children, but as adults. It's also what the modern and the old have in common, Pollock with Turner, Matisse with Rubens, or Braque with Poussin. And the basic project of art is always to make the world whole and comprehensible, to restore it to us in all its glory and its occasional nastiness not through argument, but through feeling. And then to close the gap between you and everything that is not you, and in this way, to pass from feeling to meaning. It's not something that committees can do. It's not a task achieved by groups or by movements. It's done by individuals, each person, mediating in some way between a sense of history and an experience of the world. This task is literally endless. And so although we don't have an avant-garde anymore, we're always going to have art.